They say you're on the menu if you're not seated at the table. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the girls in the pictures you commission of abject poverty. I know it sounds poetic, but I assure you, our lives are not an aesthetic. Perhaps you didn't know that I am the girl staying home from school because I don't have pads, my future. They took that. I am the girl walking to school with a stomach heavier than my book bag. This is my life. I am no different from the girl you heard about being sold off at 12 as a wife. I am not a charity case. But that's the picture you get. I see I am my grandmother's legacy. I come from a long line of matriarchal forces, rainmakers, healers, warriors, especially. My mother and grandmother now say they hope I forgive them for bringing me into a world where my very existence is a transgression, where demanding change is mundane and violence against my sisters is just another Monday. This is to you, our world leaders the ones who have our trust a less than few you made all these promises you said you'd pursue so why does the mortality rate and gender-based violence still have the longest queue strange so this is to let you know that if you want to buy my vote i don't want notes i just want change love is a verb so I don't just want you to talk about it, I need you to be about it in every sector, health, economy, climate, community. This is your opportunity in every room to put my sisters first, even the ones still in the womb. We've come a long way. So I pray that the strides we made before the pandemic are not receding, we are pleading. Do not leave us behind. We have options, but no choices, opinions, but no voices. It's time, it's been time to rise, refocus, recover. <laughs>